patients who have Sazerac syndrome uh, are often, uh, you know, erythrodermic. They're red and flaky everywhere. Um, I think that a lot of times the patients have delay in their diagnosis uh, because their uh, multiple skin biopsies do not show any lymphoma in their skin. And so they will have come in from their dermatologist with six, seven, up to 10 biopsies that they've done over and over again because they see that they have a patient who is very red, very flaky in their skin, um, but they don't find a diagnosis of T-cell lymphoma. But it's important to recognize that Cesare syndrome, although it's very rare, if you do have a patient who is erythrodermic who's not responding to treatment, um, but multiple biopsies in the skin are negative, it's important to think about Cesare syndrome because the diagnosis is in the blood. So you do need a blood test called a flow cytometry to check for lymphoma involvement in the blood. And if there are atypical cells in the blood, that, that, makes, that's, that is why the patient is red and not so much that if you don't have a skin biopsy positivity, uh, that rules out lymphoma altogether. I think that's important. And that's something that I see often not recognized out in the community. Um, and I think that in terms of mycosis fungoides, um, you know, I think that patients are often also have delay in their diagnosis often because um, there's a kind of a hesitancy to biopsy the skin when it looks like, you know, just typical eczema. But, you know, if you have suspicion and that the patient is not responding to therapy, or if you have a patient, even though they may have a low level of disease, but, you know, may not be responding or looks like a, a little bit atypical distribution, you know, why would it be under the arm? It's kind of unusual spot for eczema to be there. Uh, or, you know, it's unusual for psoriasis to be in those certain locations that I mentioned before. I think it's important to do skin biopsies to try to help the patients come up with the accurate diagnosis so that they can have um, opened up their possibilities to obtain the right treatment for them.